Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to some more car builds. And the giveaway has finished. Uh, I'm going to work on getting some winners over the weekend. I'll probably announce them tomorrow on a Saturday. Um, so yeah, I need to do that. Um, one thing, this car, I made this last episode. Uh, it's a pretty nice car. It's not the most amazing car ever. Fair lady said. Um, uh, it's one of those cars that I probably I, I drift it, but it's not at the top of the list. So... Go check that out if you want to go check that out and also in the comments leave a comment on what car you want to see next episode uh, because I need loads of suggestions so basically just vote up a comment if you see a comment that someone has done vote it up um, because the most voted up comment will get chosen um, leave a theme with it if you want there to be a certain theme and yeah let's get into the, the next car Okay, so this is the car, Ford Escort RS, RS Cosworth. Um, I don't know if we can actually swap this to real drive, we'll have to have a quick look. Uh, but there is also another Ford Escort that I don't know which one it is. Um, if you guys do know the model, certain model that you want to see, uh, do leave that. But if, if it's like this, I will just choose one. Um, I'm going to go in with this one. I'm sure, I'm sure you can swap this. Um, I'm sure I checked this before one time and I'm sure you could swap it. Uh, I hope you can because the Ford um, Ford Escort is a very nice car to be honest. A very, a very British car. I know it's not made by a British manufacturer, but this car is it's known it's known in the UK quite a bit. It gets a lot of um, a lot of notice around car shows, etc. So let's jump into the garage. Just have a quick hey, look what if we can actually um, swap this to rear wheel drive. We can do drivetrain swap. Rear wheel drive, there we go. So let's put that upgrade on, get that out of the way. Um, okay, so onto the engine. We could put a V8 in it, and that is what... Sorry, I didn't even say who done the comment. Dr. Drift HD done the comment. He said, do a Ford Escort V8 chav style. So basically, I've got to make it look chav and put a V8 in it. So I'm putting the V8 in it, 455 horsepower there. Um, aspiration... Not going to do that. Um, we've got plenty of power already. 455 um, horsepower. So, yeah, that's looking fine. Uh, so, I've got to make this look chav. Okay. That doesn't make it look chav. That makes it look race. So, let's not do that. Uh, what we could do is actually look for a paint. Uh, what I am going to do is take this. Should we take the spoiler off? I don't know. If, does it look a little bit. Yeah, it looks a bit, little bit too weird. So, let's keep the. Keep the spoiler on. Uh, looks a little bit more chav with that spoiler on, actually. Um, so let's do that. And obviously, sport tires. Um, I always use sport tires on this game. It just seems to work fine. Um, let's do two three fives on the front and on the rear. We're going to go with two five fives on the rear. That's that. Okay. So now we're onto the rim. So we've got to make it look chav. Okay. Um, Okay. What looks like it's just been driven through Halfords. Um, <laughs> we need like massive spoked rims. Those. We need those. Oh my god. Yes. That is just chav. That is chav.com. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm st I think I'm getting mixed up between chav and, Ray and, and Bryce here. <laughs> but it's basically the same thing. Most chavs drive rice cars so it's fine got to make the rim size all the way to the top you know we can't be having can't be having any tire wall here so that's that that looks terrible okay onto the drivetrain everything in drivetrain is going to be race so let's do that um what i am going to do is search for a paint as well uh what we could do is oh camo a camo paint yes oh yes let's do that Camo paint, I think it's going to look absolutely insane. I'm not even going to lie. That's just... Yes. Okay, brakes. We want race brakes. We want to stop the car, obviously. Race suspension. That looks... That looks pretty sick. Looks pretty sick. Um, nice rim size. <laughs> okay. Anti-roll bars getting installed. Um... Okay, right, rear anti-roll bars, they need to get installed as well. Sorry, I, I just my mind went blank then. I just had no idea what I was doing. Uh, we need to put strap braces on. Um, obviously, being a chav, you can't afford those. You can't afford the roll cage. So, 
Let's do weight, uh, race weight reduction as well. Yeah, what's that actually take the weight down to? 1,000 kilos. Wow, okay. It's already pretty much at the power we're going to need it. Um, what I'm going to do is put air filter on to make a little bit more noise. And an exhaust to make a little bit more noise as well. And I think that would pretty much be that. Um, 482 horsepower. Pretty powerful for a very light car. So let's just put the race flywheel just to lose that extra little bit of weight. And that is that. I think we're going to have plenty... Plenty, one sheet be plenty um, of power in that. So let's paint the car. I'm feeling camo. Camo could look absolutely incredible. Or, uh, what if we camo certain parts of the car? Like, let's say, what we have to do first though is make these wheels as chrome as we can. Oh no, they look alright actually, like that. Can't do that. Any more manufacturer colours? No. Oh no, you can't do that. Oh god. Let's let's not do that. I kinda like the gold, that looks a little bit chavy. So we gotta go in with the full window tints. Um <laughs> and <laughs> sorry, I just can't handle this. Uh I don't know what looks chavy to be honest. Um Are we feeling special colours like camo certain bits of the car maybe? I don't know. So let's go in with the camo on certain bits of the car. So like the bonnet, wind mirrors, and um, the spoiler. See, <laughs> see what it looks like. I think it's gonna look insane. To be fair, I, I might actually like it. <laughs> oh, you can't actually camo the side. Okay. Um, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm even doing. All right, special colours. Let's camo the bonnet. Let's go in. Okay, let's put <laughs> so a mad camo on the bonnet. There we go. Um, and we're going to change the colour of the car as well. Oh no, it's, it's going to cover over the bits i just done. That kind of sucks. Um, what we want... What we want is a, a matte colour. That's what we want. We want matte. So if we change the hue and saturation to a, a normal... If we just go black, a matte black, that looks pretty, okay, I, I don't know why, I'm just, what, what, what happened, I think this car has to be matte, um, you just, you think a chap is just going to spray his car with like a, with anything they can find, so, yeah, sorry if I'm offending people here, um, but, yeah, I, I am offending you, sorry, um, so let's make, it's, black as we can so he's just gonna bring along a black spray <laughs> spray can just spray his car um, let's put that on okay so now we can go and do the bonnets in camo etc uh, if we go to previous and then do this here we go we're on a roll now to be honest I should be doing this chrome <laughs> what does chrome look like um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm spending way too much time on the on the of making this look ridiculous, but yeah, where's the... where's Chrome? There's Chrome. I think making it Chrome would be so much better. Chrome wind mirrors. We've got to do that. Um, rear spoiler. I don't think we can actually change the color of this. To be fair, because no, let's do it. Camo is on. Um, the wheels can stay as they are. Can they? I think they can. Yeah, they, they can stay like that. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's about. Does that look chav? That uh, that does look pretty chav, to be fair. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh dear god. Um, if there was option to change like lights or something, I'd. Probably do like angel eyes and stuff like that, but we don't have those options, so I think that's as much travel as gonna get without spending too much time on it. So that is that. Um, I'm gonna jump out into free roam now, start drifting this car. Um, hopefully, this can catch some mad slides uh, so we can pull this car <laughs> car out in the future. Oh god, I don't even want to bring this car out in the future. To be fair, just looks really bad. I just don't like the look of it at all. 
Okay, so we have a prize. Pretty sick. I think one car, one thing with this car, it's going to be a small, small wheelbase, which is I think is going to be a bit of a problem with, with a, um, this amount of power. But yeah, let's let's go down to the industrial area. Uh, we drifted this nice area last time, so let's just jump down here into the industrial. Uh, we want to get down here. Six thousand coins. Ah, that's that's plenty. One sheep be plenty. And hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm trying to think, uh, because it always rains on this game. I'm trying to think of a way not to have rain, but I don't think there is actually a way. I thought I could fast forward time or something, but no. I can't even see the car. Like it's dark, and I, like the rear is blended in with everything else. I think the gearing is about fine, which is good. I never noticed that boat there before. Have I not? <laughs> I've only just noticed that boat. That's crazy. Was it ever there? Or was I just being blind or something? I didn't even know. So let's just chuck a bass tune on this. Uh, get the bass kick in. Yeah. Bass kick in, bro. So I need a lot more grip in the front. It felt really, really like a boat. Um, so. Let's do that. The gear in seems about fine. It could go a little bit longer to be fair. So let's just take it. Whoa. Let's just take it a tiny bit. Um, a little bit of camber, not too much. And leave the toe. 5.5 caster. Anti roll bars. Let's go. What is my wheel doing? Wheel is just like no. <laughs> wheel is just like no. Stop. Okay. So pretty stiff car to stay, um, to start with, sorry. Uh, so I'm going to leave the springs where they are. Damping, pretty stiff. Um, so let's just take down the bump just a tiny bit. Differential, let's go 100% at 100%. So very, very base tune here. But tuning on this game is so simple. You can make this car um, just basically just make any tune. Just slap a tune onto this car and just change tyre pressures and camber until the point where you're happy with it. Uh, that's what I found on tuning on this game, because obviously tire tire pressures the less tire pressure you have, the more grip you have. So that's that. I just went in really badly then. I just I don't know. I just entered that far too early. So thank God the rain has stopped, but obviously there's still water on the floor, so that kind of sucks. But we can get sliding this thing. Does feel does feel okay. Gear 3 doesn't feel like he's struggling at all. He's got the power to just pull out of corners, which is what we want. Uh, yeah, that felt okay through there, actually. Uh, if I didn't just enter that corner um, really early, I probably would have made it all in one. So let's give it another run. No, please. <laughs> all the places you could have gone, why would you go there? Oh, oh my god, I thought I was going to hit that. Oh, I'm going to hit that. Oh my god, what am I doing? Okay, we're sideways again. <laughs> is it really getting dark or is it coming to like daytime? I don't even know. I just haven't been paying... I suppose I turned up when it was um, nighttime. So I assume it's coming to daytime, but I have no idea, so... Let's keep going anyway. Hopefully it's coming to daytime so we can see a little bit more. But yeah, I hope I, I hope I got your your standards of the Chavi car um, going quite well. Um, but let's go to the tune again. Um, it's feeling okay. The gearing needs to go a lot longer still. Uh, it just feels far too much on the limiter. So let's just do that a tiny bit. Um, anti roll bars are fine. So I'm gonna take. Oh, sorry. Oh. Bit of tiring day. It's Friday though, so 1.2 minus 1.2 camber in the rear. Let's just take that down, just a tiny bit down. Uh, it just felt a little bit too unstable, so hopefully that will rein it in a little bit. And let's give this a slide. It just, I don't know. I don't know. I think it's more to do with the, the short wheelbase than like a tune or whatever. Um, the short wheelbase is great. Is it really getting dark? I swear I came here when it was dark. And it's gone into nighttime more, like what even? So yeah, that felt a little bit too loose on the on the rear there. So 
So maybe these tire pressures can go down a lot more. Uh, because I'm getting the grip. Uh, I'm getting the lack of grip and I'm getting the grip as well to pull out from the corners. So I think if we just take down... Um, if we just up the tire pressures and take down the camber in the rear a tiny bit, I think we should be okay. Just I up the tire... I uh, can't even speak! Up the tire pressures in the rear and uh, down the camber in the rear. Okay. That should counteract. Um, hopefully it's a little bit more stable now. Without losing the tire spin. We can always hope. Kind of happy to be drifting in the dry though. Normally I'm in the rain on these episodes, so to be in the dry is kind of wicked. Get close to that. Oh my god, get close to that. Nope, a bit too far. <laughs> Calm down. Uh. Okay, so this drift's absolutely fine in gear 3. It's got the power in gear 3 and it's got the tire spin in gear 3 as well, so. That's that. If you want to go to longer corners, you can just switch up to switch up a gear, and I think it'll be fine. So that's that. Uh, it felt pretty good um, through that section. So let's give it another run. Yeah, that felt pretty good through that. It felt really stable, which is what we want. That felt very stable there, especially for such a short rule base. This car feels. Surprisingly stable. I didn't really expect it to be this stable. It's got snappy transitions. Absolutely snappy transitions. Obviously being a short wheelbase car, it's going to have those snappy transitions. So that's that. Uh, I think I've got this tune pretty much sorted to be fair. Uh, as I said, on this game it's not hard to tune cars. You can tune them yourself. You just experiment with tyre pressures and camber. And you just get the tyres spinning to where you want them. And on on this game, it's so easy to hold drifts that you don't even need a tune. Just pretty much a bass tune, and you just adjust tyre pressures and camber to suit your your tyre spinning needs. Uh, that's the way I found it. So I just put the same bass tune on every single car, and just quite literally adjust uh, tyre pressures, camber, uh, just to get it to the point where you feel happy. Because uh, some people like more tyre pressure, so... Uh, more tyre spin, should I say. I I'm not even thinking. Why do I not think? Um, so that's that. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to update this tune onto the storefront. So if you guys want to go download this tune, um, it does feel very good for a very short wheelbase car. I do apologise for the wheels, uh, but when you download this car, you won't be able to change them. So, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I got told to do it and make it into a, a chaff style. I think it went pretty well, to be fair. Um, obviously, if I wasn't doing like 20 minute episodes, I would have made it uh, took a lot more time on the paint, should I say. Uh, but as soon as we're doing it pretty quick, I could only do it with the bits it gave me. So that's that. Uh, we're going to do drift, best for handling, and I'm going to share that. So you guys can just search my game tag, which is Kevin Toll, and just download that for. I think it's for free. Yeah, it's for free. So just download this tune if you don't want to copy it down. You can just follow this video and copy down the like, upgrades, etc. Uh, to the point where you can adjust it to more your needs because obviously if you download it on the storefront it is going to be going to be locked so you won't be able to adjust it um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this leave a comment below suggesting what car to tune next episode and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>